Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about three different ways to tie the same rig. Beginner, intermediate, and expert ways of tying. And it's going to be really, really fun because I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I do it. And you'll be able to fit in whichever one your expertise level is. So if you're a beginner, I've got a rig for you. If you're an expert, I've got a rig for you. So let's get to it. So basically what we're talking about here is a high-low rig. This is a very common rig that you see in, in all sorts of fishing. It's basically a weight at the bottom, hook in the middle, and another hook at the top. And here's the top of the, the rig. This is a really great way of catching two fish at one time. It's a really great way of just finding fish in general. Some ways are way quicker to tie, other ways take a little bit longer, but they have a lot of benefit. So let's get started. First off, level one. This is for beginners. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tie these rigs up using these barrel swivels, these snap swivels, some of our Hay Skipper custom colored floats. And we're gonna use these smaller owner hooks here. And um, I'm using this high visibility line here so that you guys can see what I'm tying. But I don't typically tie with this on my, my real rigs. This is more of like a, my main line so I can see where my line is in the water. Let's start. At the bottom, we're gonna attach, and this is gonna go for all three. But I'm only gonna do this once so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. We're gonna tie it, this swivel. This can hold my sink, and it can you can adjust what sinker size you put on there because it opens and closes. So you can change out your sinker sizes. Really helpful little piece of terminal tackle here. This is a really special knot that I've learned. It's a really simple one. So the first part of this knot is we're gonna tie just a simple overhand knot right here like this. All right, tie that down. Now we're gonna put this through. You want the knot to come through. And then you're gonna tie another knot. See that? Now pull this knot. And this first knot should be stopped by the second knot. And that's a really quick way of tying a sinker knot on. Okay, so that's the first knot. Now we're gonna tie our actual rig up now. So this knot right here is exactly what makes it a beginner rig because we're gonna tie a very simple overhand knot like this. And you wanna make sure that your rig line is long enough so that you can add a hook and possibly a float onto it if you wanna add a float. You don't want it too short. One. Two, see how I did that? So I bent it over once. Bend it over one more time and I twist one, two. Then I pull this through, okay? Now we slowly pull and tighten this knot. Sometimes it helps to put a little bit of saliva to wet it and it'll slide into place real easy. See that? So that's the first. So now we're gonna do one more loop. See that? So that's two loops. Now I want the same distance one more time. But this time, we're gonna tie on the barrel swivel. Now these swivels help your feet and your hooks to be able to spin around without getting everything tangled up. So I'm gonna put a improved clinch knot on here, which looks like this. Put your finger down, twist, 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 twist about five times. Now this tag end goes in through this first loop, right? Then you're gonna bring it through that new loop you just made and tighten it down. I put a little bit of saliva on it. And there we go. Then I clip all the tag ends off. Just like that. Okay, so this was level one right here because this knot right here is really simple. It's a simple overhand knot, right? Next, we're gonna put on some of these floats. And I love these orange and yellow ones. But I also love these, these neon pink ones work really well too. Um, I've also got these glow in the dark ones. So maybe I'll do 
one glow in the dark and one yellow orange. But the yellow orange works so well because it looks like a sand flea. It looks like the eggs of a sand flea. It looks kind of like a cocina shell too. Um, lots of fish eat things that look like this color. And we're gonna put it in like this. Fold this over. And then we're gonna push it through. See that? Now we have a float on it. The way we attach the hooks, just put it through it like this. And we'll pull, just like that. And this is the first beginner style rig right here with this overhand knot, high low. There we go. And let's tie one more. Let's put one more through. This top one I'm gonna do, uh, let's do uh, this, this glow in the dark color. This one's glow in the dark though. So in low light settings, this is great. And there we have it. This is a level one beginner, beginner style rig right here. High low rig. And then you wrap it up like this. And you put it away in a bag, say, say you have an empty bag like this, you put it in here. And with level two, it's exactly the same thing as level one. You'll have the same bottom me mechanism right here with the snap swivel on the bottom, a loop. So we'll have, we'll have the snap swivel, we'll have hook number one, hook number two, and then a barrel swivel again. The big difference here is the knot that we use to tie the actual hook on right here. So the difference between level one and level two is gonna be this knot right here. Let me show you how to tie that knot real quick. Rig number two, intermediate style, we're actually gonna do a dropper loop. And the dropper loop, it just sits more clean. And you'll see exactly what I mean as soon as I tie it. So now watch my fingers, okay? We're gonna make a circle like this, right? This circle is gonna be the actual loop itself. So you wanna make this length, the length that you actually want that arm to be. And I like it a little bit longer like this. Once you cross it over like that, you'll see two lines like this, right? You'll see two, how they cross like this. You see this? It might take you a second. You might need to pause the video and just like look at my hands real quick. But make a circle and make them have two train tracks like this. Next, you're gonna put your fingers in a position where you can start wrapping. This is gonna be different for everyone, but this is my finger position. I like to hold the train tracks like this and then hold them with these two fingers. Then I'm gonna take my two fingers here and just twist. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now we're gonna pull this middle line through this, but you don't want this, you don't wanna lose the wraps on this, so make sure everything is held tight. I'm gonna use my mouth and put my mouth on this right here, pull this up and these two sides out at the same time. Okay, so. and an overhand knot. Look at that difference. This line goes straight across and this, this loop comes out very like naturally. This one, it looks a little janky. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't sit exactly like straight. Look at how straight this sits naturally. Look at how bent this is. Like it looks kind of unnatural. And you know, it's, it's beginners, it doesn't really matter. But when you get better and better at tying knots, you want it to look prettier. And it's not necessarily because the fish won't bite it otherwise, but it's, 
you want it to look nice, right? So that's level two. And that is actually, level two is how we tie the catch-all rigs right here. These are the custom catch-all rigs that we have with the custom um, colored floats here that attract a lot of different kinds of fish. This is tied with 20 pound instead of 40. So um, it's just, it's a really awesome rig that you can catch a lot of kinds of fish on it. Okay, so that was level two right here. So same thing as the first one. Level two, you can add, I'm gonna add one of these very hot pink colored because this attracts the attention of fish. This color right here, it makes fish look twice. Makes them turn their head. Make them do a double take. And a, and a better way to secure this is when you push it through, give this a couple of twists. One, two, and then put it through the hole. And that's, that's level two right there. Okay, let's get to level three. Level three is really, really one of my favorite knots to tie, but it's also a pretty challenging one. And it combines the knowledge of how to tie a dropper loop with a new kind of knot at the same time. And you'll see exactly what I mean. First, remember that overhand knot I showed you? We're gonna tie the overhand knot first, right? Except instead, this time, instead of doing two wraps, we're gonna do something like one, two, three, four, five. Five wraps. Then we're gonna slowly tighten it. You see this, how, how it's kind of tangled down here? Straighten that out. You don't want that there, it untangled now. Now, before you pull, lubricate it with a little bit of spit. Now pull slowly and evenly. If you see these loops right here, if you see some of one, one side going down further than the other, you can control how much line goes down by each of these. You wanna pull these evenly. See that? Look at that, there you go. Okay, that's the first part. The next part now, we're gonna do a dropper loop now. It combines a dropper loop and an overhand knot. So this dropper, remember, we're gonna make a circle and two train tracks just like this. Now with this dropper loop, we're gonna, we're gonna do this bad boy like 15 times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna put this tag end through this little hole that we have left right here. You see this? <laughs> it's kind of hard to show, but if you get it, you get it. Now we pulled it through. Now you wanna pull this knot that you created with, the, with that overhand knot, pull this loop through that knot, right? Now use your teeth, hold that. You see this down here? Straighten that out. See this? Pull it out, you see? I pulled it out. Now, might need to lubricate it. Slowly tighten. And you see if it gets tangled like this, you see this? Pull it back out, like that. Pull it back out. Look at that. Hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. I mean, H-E double hockey sticks, yeah. Look at that. This is so sick because now there's no way that this line will ever get tangled with this line. This arm will hold it outwards from the rig itself. And it's called a T-knot because look at that knot. What letter does that spell? T. Exactly. T. <laughs> what does this spell? Time to learn the T-knot. Next, 
I'm gonna put one of these orange floaties on. There we go. Now let's put the hook on. I find it doesn't really matter which direction you put it in, but some people say one direction is way better than the other. I don't find too much of a difference. If a fish bites and runs with it, you got the fish pretty much. Some people like it curved in a little bit more. Some people like it the other way. I think I like it curved in like this. But that is the T-knot right there. This is the dropper loop itself right here. You can see the difference. I mean, that's why this is expert and this is intermediate. You see the difference? So with all these different kinds of rigs, they're all essentially for the same purpose is to catch two fish at one time. You don't really need to learn the expert, expert one, but if you are getting better and better at tying knots, why not learn how to tie this awesome knot? It also, it serves a function too, where it, it won't get itself tangled on itself because this arm right here, this long T part, keeps it from tangling itself. It does actually help more, um, but you don't need to. I wanna encourage anyone who thinks that they can to actually try it. Give it a try, tag me on Instagram, tag me on Facebook, and I wanna see how you guys have done. I'd love to see your progress, and people over the years have really been showing a lot of improvement, and that's really one of the main reasons I love teaching you guys because I love seeing you guys grow. I love seeing people out there on the field that I recognize like, oh, I know that knot. Like, I, I prop, like if you're tying that T-knot, I'm pretty sure you saw how to do it for my dad or me at some point. It's just a really nice experience to, to share with each other. For baits in your area, whatever is good in your area, but what I like to use is my clammy bits right here. These clammy bits last for freaking ever on the hook. And you can see through the bag, look at the color of that clammy bit, it's like, it's like red and smells delicious. It goes really well with these rigs right here. Um, I also have like an all-in-one bait box right here. And our brand new neon shrimpy bits would probably work really well on this. I mean, look at these. We've got orange neon shrimpy bits and the neon hot pink ones. And it fits so perfectly on like a one-aught hook. Look at this. It's nice and tough. Oh my God. Goodness, I can't wait to go fishing again. Look at that. Look at that. This is gonna catch you some fish for sure. You know, if you wanna get out to the beach, you wanna get out to your spot and start catching fish, I recommend you get, you know, like a few packs of these are all you can, uh, are um, catch all rigs. Get yourself a box, a bait box with an assortment of our salted baits, some sinkers, Get yourself a rod and reel, and you're you're down for a good day right there. Um, it's just such a great time to go fishing with yourself or family members or you know kids, friends. It's such a great thing to do outside in the nature, besides just like you know walking around a park or like taking a leisurely kayak ride without fishing rods. Some people do that, you know that. Some people do that. They just go on a kayak and just paddle around really nice fishing spots without a rod without any lures, without any kind of bait. They just go and just paddle for fun. I've never heard, I've never thought of doing that myself, but if you like to do that, comment below. Why don't you bring a rod, bro? Come on. Actually, this is why we kind of created all of our products, all of our, just our channel in general, because we want to make it easy for you to learn how to like get on your kayak and catch some fish. Like if you're going to be out by the water, why not learn how to catch some fish that you can eat? It's really fun. So if you know anyone who isn't into fishing yet and who really wants to get into fishing, show them our channel because we want to make it easy for them to learn so you'll have a new fishing buddy. Okay, so that was, that was a great episode, I think. I got to show you uh, a beginner way of tying, an intermediate way of tying, and a kind of expert way of tying things. All of them work great. In fact, our rigs right here are, are the intermediate version. If you want to learn to tie that expert version, I, tr I have a extensive ebook that I've written, I've illustrated, and some people learn better reading than they do through video. And that's available on our website, along with a whole bunch of other how to tie rig books that I've put together for you guys. I've got like pier fishing, surf fishing, all sorts of different kinds of rigs, different kinds of knots. If you wanna learn more about fishing, check out our website. We've got lots of stuff to just get you on fish right away. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. You guys are the best. I mean, I'm living such a, a, a happy life because you guys have been so, so supportive. Someone's calling me. Let's see who that is. 
Oh my dad. Hold on. Hey dad, what's up? Oh, you're watching the episode Aaron's getting a fish in Mexico? What about it? You know, make me turn sideways on the back. I look like I'm the one who catches the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that I'm my body catching sideways. Right? Oh my gosh, so you're like imagining you're the one catching the fish. Yeah. No, I didn't see this time because all the time we get in, so they have strong <laughs> Yeah, it was a good time. We gotta go back to Mexico one day, huh? Well, we gotta we gotta do some fishing soon. We gotta get back on some some like get some real fishing in, you know. Okay. Anyways, that I'm I'm in the I'm in the middle of filming something right now. So can I call you back later? Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, Dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> he that guy has showed me everything I know about fishing. Like all my literally all my gear, my initial gear came from him. And I'm still I'm still rocking a lot of his gear. So yeah, if you've got a dad out there, you know, and he's he's always helping you with things, you know, show show appreciation. Okay, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Gotta get some. I'm gonna get some fishing in now. See you guys next week.